Germany, the early 1930s, a nation in turmoil. The Great Depression had left the country economically shattered and the political landscape was equally unstable. Amidst this chaos, one man rose to power, Adolf Hitler, leader of the National Socialist German Workers' Party, also known as the Nazis. Hitler's ascent was not unchallenged. Within his own party, rivalries and power struggles grew. The most significant of these tensions lay between Hitler and the Sturmabteilung, also known as the SA, led by uh, Ernst Röhm. The SA grew rapidly, reaching around 3 million members by the early 1930s. With their paramilitary force, they intimidated opponents and demonstrated Nazi strength. But by around 1934, their power had become a threat to Hitler's control. Ernst Röhm, a close ally of Hitler, sought to emerge the SA with the German military under his command. This ambition alarmed Hitler and other Nazi leaders, who feared Röhm's influence and the SA's growing power. When the Deutsche Volk in innerer Ruhe, Ordnung und Disziplin seiner Führung folgt und vor allem, wenn es seiner Führung vertraut. Denn nur das Vertrauen und der Glaube an einen neuen Staat haben es ermöglicht, die großen Aufgaben in Angriff zu nehmen und zu lösen, die uns die früheren Zeiten gestellt hatten. The SA became unpopular with the German population because of the lawless violence that they did, while Hitler positioned himself as the champion of law and order. Wenn jede tatsächliche Unterlage fehle, mit dem März habe ich veranlasst, Vorbereitungen zu treffen, eine neue Propagandawelle, die sollte das deutsche Volk gegen den Versuch einer neuen Vergiftung immunisieren. Gleichzeitig damit aber gab ich auch an einzelne der Parteidienststellen den Befehl, den immer wieder auftauchenden Gerüchten einer neuen Revolution nachzugehen und wenn möglich die Quellen dieser Gerüchte aufzufinden. Die German Military, die Reichswehr, sah die SA als undisciplined thugs and opposed Rome's plans. Hitler needed the support of the military to solidify his power and pursue his future ambitions. Something had to be done. Es ergab sich, dass in den Reihen einiger höherer SA-Führer Tendenzen auftraten, die zu ernstesten Bedenken Anlass geben mussten. In June 1934, Hitler, along with Heinrich Himmler and Hermann Göring, devised a plan to eliminate the SA's leadership and other political adversaries. This plan would be executed under the guise of a national emergency. Es konnte vom Monat Mai ab keine Zweifel mehr geben, dass Staatschef Röhm sie mit ehrgeizigen Plänen beschäftigte, die im Falle ihrer Verwirklichung nur zu schwersten Erschütterungen führen konnten. On the night of June 30th, 1934, Hitler flew to Badweise, where Rome and other SA leaders were staying. And upon arrival in the early hours of July 1st, Hitler, with a gun drawn, walked directly into Rome's room. And then, in a dramatic confrontation, he held Rome at gunpoint, accusing him of treason. Rome was immediately arrested, and within hours, the purge began. Just two days later, Rome was given a pistol and a chance to commit suicide. But Rome, he refused. And when he refused, he was executed by two SS officers, effectively eliminating one of Hitler's potential rivals. Over the next two days, the SS, under Hitler's command, carried out a series of arrests and executions. The SA leadership, political rivals and even former allies deemed threats to Hitler and they were targeted. One 
of the notable victims was Gregor Strasser, a former Nazi leader who had fallen out with Hitler. General Kurt von Schleicher, a former chancellor, and his wife were also killed in the purge. The purge, known as the Night of the Long Knives, saw the deaths of at least 85 people. Through some estimates, suggest the number could be much higher. Hitler justified the killings as a necessary action to prevent a coup and maintain order. The aftermath of the purge saw the SA's power drastically reduce. The SS, loyal to Hitler and Himmler, became the dominant force in Nazi Germany. The military, relieved of the SA threat now, they pledged their loyalty to Hitler. The Night of the Long Knives was a turning point. It solidifies Hitler's control over the Nazi party and the German state paving the way for the totalitarian regime that would lead the world into the horrors of World War II. The Night of the Long Knives was a purge of power and a prelude to the atrocities that would follow before and during World War II.